I want to show you this simple concept for dropping TNT from a four-way flying machine that explodes at a specific height. So that's uh, the furthest down it can explode. We have a wire on the underside of this machine, and uh, we can control where it bounces back from. So if I destroy some of these um, uh, pistons, which would bounce the signal of the wire backwards, now this wire is going to send a signal further into the machine before it bounces back, and the TNT uh, won't have as much time to fall. If we go all the way over here, destroy all but this piston, now the TNT is going to explode just a few blocks underneath the machine. And there we go. And then uh, this, this piston is the danger zone, so if I uh, use this one, I think we're actually going to lose some of the blocks in the machine. So we send it out. And, yeah. But you get the idea. And then, of course, you know, you can move it in all four directions, and, uh, it breaks. Ah. <laughs> I missed an observer after the explosion. Yeah, I think this one's too far gone to fix. This is all the trial and error that y'all don't see when I <laughs> show you my flying machines. This area is like the graveyard of the creative world. Step one, attach a wire to the underside of the machine. Step two, attach the TNT lighter. Step three, make sure it can fly in all four directions without any problems before trying it. Oh, something happened there. These bumpers that send the signal of wires um, backwards, they're normal pistons for whatever reason need to be on the side of the of the machine closest to the center. Okay, reset this line. And test the four directions one more time. Step four, add the TNT in. Check that the detonation works. Perfect. Make sure the TNT is not detonated while the machine is moving. Okay. <laughs> the reason this uh, failed, which I could have totally seen coming, the TNT detonator setup here was on the left half of the machine, whereas with this first setup, the TNT was on the right half of the machine. So four-way flying machines are pretty picky about which side of the machine you put various circuits on. Okay, test three, wire, variable return. A problem, TNT is moved when the machine flies in that direction. Fortunately, that's a pretty easy fix, because as you can see on this variable return wire, um, half the return stations are uh, one block higher and half of them are one block lower. So if we just swap which ones are one block high and which ones are one block low, now uh, there's no, there won't be any collision with the TNT in this component. Okay, the machine can be moved in all four directions, the TNT isn't messed up, and it can still be detonated with a variable height. Cool. Concept proved. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.